I, I read a study once where they talk about the, it's like marriage and then retirement, right? I mean, just about these big steps that you make in your life and, and retirement's up there because it's such an unknown. I mean, uh, everything you just mentioned about, again, not, not having bosses and no longer having employees or that social peace day to day. I mean, that's a huge change. I mean, I mean, how long, you know, on average, what people, people work 40 years, 50 years. Do you see what I mean? That's a, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a long time to get your habits and your routine. Oh. And then to suddenly have that gone, uh, again, th- th- you have to be emotionally ready because yeah. it's such a big, stress, uh, stressful change. It takes a, a new level of thought. You're almost, you're, you're recreating yourself in a sense because it's, mm. it's a whole new, I don't know, stage of your life. It's a new stage of your quote unquote career. So you may not be in your, your career that you spent your years during your, your primary working years, but uh, you know, when you make that transition, it's just your, the pages of your book are essentially unwritten, right? So you have the opportunity, as long as you're working with a, you know, a solid team like SHP, yeah, um, yeah. to write those pages and make sure that you have a plan in place that is gonna succeed and allows you to take those steps and to really live in dream rather than wondering and worrying. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. And so, well, so you mentioned, okay, so you, you talk about uh, as someone emotionally ready. So again, yeah. this, so they are spending more time living and dreaming, right? As compared to worrying and wondering. Then uh, what are some of the other um, non-financial considerations um, that you ask somebody at? Yeah, and so another thing that we like to think about is too, you know, are you physically ready? Are you prepared for retirement? I mean, even if you're mental, mentally and emotionally prepared for retirement, uh, if your body isn't really up to the task, then it might not really make an easy transition for you. I mean, we live such a sedimentary life, and I think uh, both these gentlemen will agree with me. We end up sitting around for so long every single day at our desk. Really, now we have all this free time. Um, if we can't really enjoy all the money that we've saved, then really what was the point of saving it? You know, you can't buy your health, um, you know, per se. You can get maybe better treatment. You might be able to control the level of care, but we don't want to have to plan to that point where now we're just, okay, let's just see what we can do with what's left. Um, you know, are we really taking care of ourselves as we get ready for retirement? Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Because, I mean, everyone, when you're busy working, it might be tough to do all these various things from a health standpoint, like the exercise or the eating right because of the stress. But like as you prepare for retirement, these things should be on your mind because once you get older, as I find out, your body doesn't work the same way, right? <laughs> and so we have to be aware of this because if we want to, I mean, we spent all our time sacrificing throughout these years for a successful retirement. If we want to make the most of it, we have to be physically capable of doing that. 